There's Judgment just Day is that. gonna be I've trippy. I've talked to you guys about three elements that makes human beings. But in reality, guys, the Bible speaks that your word, your very word, will one day condemn you. And that's if, obviously, you don't watch out with what you say. The Bible tells us that our words are actually words of life or words of death. You can speak blessings or you can curse, right? That is a big play onto the verse that says just your words will condemn you before god meaning if there's three elements to a human being right just like how there's three elements to god which is the father son and holy spirit okay yet they're all the same but they're all different you know what i mean because we've seen we've met jesus personally and jesus said because you've seen me you've seen the father type deal i'm just trying to explain it better for you guys but if, if that's the case, and Jesus, God's word could literally separate from God in the sense of he delivered it, you know what I mean, to another form even, I feel like God has revealed this to me. I believe that through his word, just the specifics of how it's even placed and said, because God is very specific. Remember, science teaches that there is no coincidence. So if any book has been replaced, removed from the Bible, there's a reason. It could be either it has too much truth or it's completely false. You get what I mean? So I believe your word will and can condemn you one day if you decide not to speak truth. The words of what? Of who? Christ. So if your word will condemn you one day, that's because you've been speaking your own shit. Your word will stand beside you one day. Your body will stand beside you one day. And your spirit will stand right there before God. And you as three different beings, but one at the same time, are going to have to give accounts to God for what you've done. The Bible also says, do not sin against your own body to get away from sexual immorality. So in that sense, it's almost like the Bible literally speaks of your body. I mean, it is a temple. So it's like, it's not yours. Why did you wreck my house? That's what he's going to say on judgment day. Like, it's like your body's literally going to be there all sad or destroyed or whatever. And it's going to point at you, your spirit and say, he didn't stop it. He was supposed to take control of me. I'm just a tool. I'm like a sock you put on every day. And then death would be just, you throw it out. You don't need it anymore because, I mean, the body, there's another mystery to that, right? Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Many people don't understand this, but guys, we are our biggest critics. Like that saying has levels to it. That saying has volumes to it. We literally will be our greatest critics one day to the point where before God, you, you know how it says your guilt, your consciousness will, will judge you? That's really it. You know what you've done with your body. So when you see your flesh and you know now that it, it was never truly even yours, it was just a part of you, you get what I mean? You will be overflown, bro, with shame. And that's what the Bible says. Like, you, it will feel like burning ashes, like burning coals on your head, bro. Like, it, it'll be so bad. You won't even want to face God. You won't be able to, to be honest. With you. you won't have the strength to even move a muscle if you are not of God. But, like, before him on Judgment Day. But, yeah, it, it's it's kind of crazy. Um, Yeah, 